In the mid-1500s, in western Mexico, conquistadors battled indigenous tribes in an effort to establish a settlement for Spain. In 1542, a Spanish nobleman's wife named Beatriz Hernandez, tired of the nomadic life, allegedly stabbed a dagger into a tree and proclaimed, this is it, we are here. And you know what? She was right. Welcome to Guadalajara, Mexico, site of this episode of Grilling Around the Globe. Hello. Nearly 500 years after Beatriz Hernandez made her mark, Guadalajara, Mexico is the country's third largest metro area with almost six million citizens who call themselves Tapatios. HPE's Guadalajara office has more than 2,000 team members, making it one of the most populous sites worldwide. Lucia Melo is a senior manager in sales strategy and today, our tour guide. A cool thing about Guadalajara is that we have presence from all the different teams mm -hmm. and we are co-located so we don't need to send an email, we don't need to call <laughs> anybody, we just need to stand up and go to their desk to fix things faster. What you're going to see in our office is we have our neighborhoods. Global sales, HR, finance, global ops, and you can identify the team and they can easily sit together, collaborate, very particular from the Guadalajara office. HPE's office here is one of the main reasons the city is called the Silicon Valley of Latin America. And like the original Silicon Valley, guess who had a hand in this Mexican revolution? Yep, the usual tech suspects, Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard. In the late 60s through the early 80s, Kodak, Motorola, and HP all opened offices here to take advantage of the bountiful, intelligent, young minds coming out of 28 technical institutions and universities. One of the things that we were looking as a, as a leadership team is how can we bring in more uh, opportunities to Guadalajara, to our employees, but to help them grow in their career. Marco Estrella is HPE Guadalajara's site lead and moonlights as a professor at ITESO University. What a great way to get a head start on grabbing the best new talent. Yes, good talent. People or students, I'm gonna say that is very well prepared that come to us and share their ideas, what they learn from different perspective. We, we need people from finance, we need people from uh, marketing, uh, management, engineering, it could be industrial engineering, it could be services engineering, many, many around that we benefit a lot from all of them. We've been told a visit to Guadalajara isn't complete like without experiencing Chaderia. <laughs> Charros de Jalisco, home of the most championship-winning Chateria team in Mexico. If you assumed Mexico's national sport was soccer, you'd be wrong. People believe that it's soccer, our national sport, that this is our national sport. It's described to us as Mexican rodeo, but it's different than American rodeo. This is a time-honored Sunday family tradition. mariachi, play-by-play -play by a guy with the greatest look ever, and popcorn and chips for the kids. Except these chips come with hot sauce and fresh squeezed lime. Flaming hot. Marco spent many Sundays as a kid watching Charos, and today he's invited us and a couple dozen local HPE team members to enjoy a taste of his youth. And because he's awesome and knows his team is even more awesome, he's buying lunch. 
there is something really special about your office, about the culture, about the people. They're so enthusiastic and energetic and they seem to be so proud to work for the company. What is it you're doing right? I believe that uh, all that energy, all that passion comes from the people, it's, you know, themselves. They are excited, but at the same time, they are very, very responsible and very committed to make it happen. So, very energetic, I'm part of the DNA. Seriously, the team members in Guadalajara are unique in the best ways. This is not Michael and my first rodeo in Guadalajara. A few years ago, we came here for our day jobs of producing the all team member meeting that featured Antonio Neri. And man, did this office bring it. These arches were built in 1942 as a commemoration of the 400th anniversary of Guadalajara. Jaime Haro has been with HBE for 17 years. This week, He's helping us in every way possible understand the rich history of his hometown. And this basically was the city limit. So downtown is that way, and okay. everything after this was just cornfields, ranches. And now this was all corn. How far out would you have to go now to get to outside of town? 15, 20 miles. So yeah, in 70 years. In 70 years, it's grown from here to 15 or 20 miles out. Exactly. Wow. Guadalajara is welcoming and big, and getting bigger. Speaking of getting bigger, let's eat. So here is Tortas Toño. This is a franchise for, that sells tortas ahogadas. Tortas ahogadas is a very typical dish for Guadalajara. Actually, I would say you will only find it in Guadalajara because it has a special bread that comes that's only made here in Guadalajara. Alfredo Jose Lopez is a director with the Program Management Office and has been with HPE for 22 years. Today, he's taking us to his favorite lunch spot for a Guadalajara staple, tortas algadas. Translation, drowned sandwich. We have all sorts of, you know, uh, leg or throat or belly, all of those pork. Different parts of a pig. Yeah, this is what I was telling you, the sweet sauce. This is the drowning part of the sandwich. The idea is to soften the hard bread with tomato sauce, beans, cabbage, onions, and hot sauce. And now this is for Carl, right? So how bad you want to be with him? How mean you want to be with him? <laughs> Let's be medium mean. OK. That's good. Good as in you can eat it, or? <laughs> Yours is throat and hoof. It's good. <laughs> Next time on Grilling Around the Globe, Guadalajara, we visit a major HPE customer with a life-saving success story. Take a trip to Tequila and get ready for grilling. So many tacos, so little time. Taco Tuesday style.